What's up, guys? This is Dr. Sheik. We're going to be on the Online Prosperity Show, talking about some great things. We're going to be talking about a word that starts with the letter D that's really going to help you scale your business to seven figures and beyond. Uh, check it out. It's pretty fun, pretty cool. See you then. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got Akbar. Akbar, how are you doing, my man? Pretty good, man. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Understandable. Well, thank you so much for having um, us today or being with us today. You know, if you're watching this show, you know that we believe that every online business should be profitable and enjoyable. And we also believe that people um, that are working hard should be also able to create and relate to those that they're going to be demanding money off of. Now, today, Akbar is going to be telling us a little bit about how he came from being a homeless person in San Francisco to being amongst the top 2% earners in the whole entire world, especially in the online industry. Now, he has recently also helped several people um, reach seven figures. So he has not only done it for himself, but he's helped other people in the process. Well, thank you so much for being a shining example there, Akbar, for humanity. But it wasn't always like this, right? That's very true. That's very true. All right. So um, when I was looking a bit about what you have done, I was really impressed. Being amongst the you know top 2% earners, a lot of people just really hope and wish that is going to happen to them. It says you started off being homeless. How is that transition now from where you started to where you are and what has happened in between? You know, boss, honestly, if I was to really uh, give credit to one thing, first of all, all credit goes to God, number one. That's number one. After that, uh, if I was to really give credit, it would be the one word that begins with a D and it's discipline. You know, if I was to honestly just simplify it, I mean, I was a very undisciplined person. When I became disciplined, I was able to lose a lot of weight. I was able, 50 pounds, 60 pounds. I was able to move on into healthier relationships. I was able to actually get checklists, uh, create checklists and make things happen. But discipline is a, is a skill that's needed, you know, as a foundation. You know, your foundation needs a couple of different skills, discipline, tenacity, to, to, to take action every single day the right kind of action too intent too many people you know wasting time and time is a very valuable commodity and you will grow you will grow but you have to be disciplined and you have to look if you keep walking if you keep walking straight right yes there'll be debris in the road that you have to walk around there'll be you know some potholes in the road that you have to walk around you might even have to go back a little to walk around it but if you keep moving you keep using your momentum eventually you'll get there you know, but the thing is, you have to keep moving. But most of us are just sitting, watching TV. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. So you do dwell a lot on discipline, all right? Discipline comes in um, with the things we do every single day. We are creatures of habit, all right? What sort of habits then do you, um, you know, uh, allude to that would then constitute your discipline that you talk about? Somebody asked me recently, okay, so it's not a mar it's not a race, it's a marathon, huh? I said, yeah. no, it's a race and a marathon, right? Because you have to take big action, which is the race, but you have to do it every day, which is the marathon, right? So the difference between guys who are making it and, and guys who are not really is speed of implementation uh, and taking big action. All right, so you're talking about discipline and in part of you going through that discipline, you lost 50 pounds, you quit smoking, you actually renounced your title as the fast food junkie king of the East. How is any of that stopping um, people from uh, success? You might just be enjoying your lifestyle. Uh, well, no, there's a difference between enjoying and, and, and you know, the, these terrible things like gluttony. You know, there's a difference between going out there and enjoying a fine, you know, Hagen dazs dessert once in a while or, 
you know, enjoying a, a fine cheeseburger or some pizza. And there's nothing wrong with all these things, and I still do these things. But, but the lack of discipline is that when you, it doesn't. It's a normal thing. It's regular. And the other thing is when you don't do any exercise to burn it out, right? So this turns into gluttony, which turns into laziness, which turns into not being able to be productive, which turns into uh, foggy, you know, foggy mentality. You know, you need to be on the right diet, have the right mindset, have clarity, to have a productive mindset. Um, it, it all, it's all together. You know, the work-life balance, it's really the same thing. So the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. And um, you have to be right from the inside out to truly be – you have to be right yourself to, to really produce results. All right, great. And then is that the reason why you then say 95% of businesses never grow then because of the habits that they're actually um, taking on? 92% of, of businesses never grow. Depends who you ask. Uh, you know, very high numbers, obviously. They don't grow because they're not... What's interesting about growth in businesses, growth can be immediate. You can literally go into your business tomorrow, start fresh. So we're going to systemize, we're going to organize, we're going to redo the funnel, we're going to redo the marketing efforts. Um, you know, and you can start with a whole new approach and a whole new focus and you can start growing right away. Uh, but people don't, they just get stuck in a rut of day to day trying to beat a dead horse, not trying to innovate, not trying to improve, just keep going in the grind and keep running around the maze without stepping out and looking at it mm -hmm. and figuring out how to improve it, how to make it easier, how to automate it, how to systemize it. Um, these are some of the reasons people are not growing. Great stuff. Well, you do help people to systemize, like you have said. Um, could you just walk us through what it is that you actually help people with when somebody comes through your, 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 your office, what is it that you first look at and then what is it that you prescribe to them and how do you then continue working with them? One of the things I do is I help people um, either if they're in business already and they're stuck at a certain income level, I help remaster their funnel and fill in all the gaps and all the holes and all the leaks. And, um, rewrite their copy, rewrite their narrative, their messaging, their story, um, rewrite the emails and make sure that the funnel is now converting, you know, so that they can actually break through and grow. And if somebody doesn't have a business, but they have an offline business or a product idea, then we build it for them from scratch. But, you know, we do a lot of like, um, you know, we have a lot of connections in the business. We help people grow. We stick with you until we help you grow. You know, that's our thing is that we believe that small businesses is the backbone of society. We believe that if we help you grow, you're going to give back to society, give back because inherently business owners are good people. So they want to give to charities. They want to give to families. So our belief is that if we're helping you grow, in essence, we're helping the world become a better place, which is really the brand uh, mission. Understandable. Like you say, you actually believe that every hardworking person and honest person deserves a business that's successful. We add to that um, on the show that it has to be profitable and enjoyable too. So we do have a few synergies there. Now, how do businesses cripple themselves by having terrible funnels? I mean, it's like having... You know, it's like having a, a, a physical store and you have the most amazing products and they're life-changing products, affordable, that'll make your life so much better, that are great. You know, but your storefront has graffiti on it. It has soda cans in the parking lot. It has, you know, wild dogs running around. It's like nobody even wants to go there. It looks like a scene out of a movie, right? And somehow if they even go in the store, it's like a maze to even find any of the product. They've got to walk through lines and lines. they got to halfway and, and it's noisy and it's dirty and it's smelly and then they just leave they get sick of it and they just leave i mean that's really what it's like to have a bad funnel you know if you want to kind of visualize it great stuff well obviously you did mention earlier on that if you've got your disciplines and if you've got you know the right kind of habits and then you couple that with a good work ethic and functional funnels things might happen. So somebody might be watching this show here right now, Akbar, and you know, they're probably ready to finally break through and have a predictable and scalable business where they can actually get customers at will, which is what you guarantee them. How can they get a hold of you? 
Well, you know, we basically guarantee uh, phenomenal funnels. You know, that's what we guarantee is, is a great funnel. Uh, I have a book I wrote. It was kind of a boyhood dream. It became an international bestseller. Uh, you could get that book, okay, uh, on my website. And you can really watch a master class on my website to see how we've helped several funnels get into uh, the seven figure world. And that's simply my name.com, you know, which is A K B A R S H E I K H dot com. And uh, you can simply go there and enjoy that video. And then, uh, you know, if you, if you like, if you like the way we do things, you feel a good match, we can potentially, uh, you know, book a call to, to, to discuss things to see if we can help you break through. Understandable. Well, thank you so much for being with us on the show today. This has been so fantastic and, um, you know, um, value adding because not a lot of people actually realize that the things that they do, the habits that they uh, partake and the way they run their business is actually crippling them. So if you've been watching this and you really want to scale to probably seven figures, you need to ethically inject principles that would actually help you um, have a business that's successful. And people like Akbar are usually, you know, obviously happy to help whenever they can, if you are a perfect uh, match to their business and the way they run their business. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Akbar. And um, I really hope that we, you know, will correspond in the future. And yeah, maybe one of these days you will be helping us with our finals too. Why not? It'd be my pleasure. And it was great talking to you guys. If I could ever be of service, let me know. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care. Peace. Wow, you did well, sir. You, you do this all the time, huh? <laughs>